Warm welcome to fellow film enthusiasts and budding filmmakers to the 17th edition of the Mumbai International Film Festival 2022. In today's workshop we will be learning about wildlife filmmaking as a career and filmmaking is not a career but it's a commitment. Today we have Mr. Subha Sulu sir and in this master class we will be discussing why wildlife Subha Nalamuthu sir is an award winning filmmaker from Chennai who has had the pleasure and privilege of working with some of the industry's best producers and networks such as National Geographic Channel Discovery Channel 4 Animal Planet Doordarshan etc We will be discussing what to shoot how to shoot and choosing the focus of our story and staying true to your story and character using filmmaking techniques of cinema in wildlife genre Since 1987 sir has made a wide range of films including 11 series and 55 documentaries most centered on Indian wildlife Sir has dedicated the past 15 years to filming India's forests producing some of the India's most iconic wildlife films His one of the most legendary tigers muchly titled the world's most famous tiger Nalamuthu sir's ability to add to a theatrical touch to factual storytelling and technical skills combined with poetic storytelling and visual style has won him several national awards sir has served as a jury for various film festivals including as the chairperson for non fiction jury panel of indian panorama 2021 Can we have Rav, Mr. Ravinder Bhakar, sir, who is the director of MIF 2022, to felicitate, sir? Can we have a huge round of applause for sir? So let's embrace the knowledge that sir will be giving all of us and remember that never stop learning as life never stops teaching. Before we begin the session a film screening will be shown to you. picturesque location adds to the charm of storytelling on screen every location in uttar pradesh speaks for itself with rich traditions and diversity of local cultures india's heartland uttar pradesh has now emerged as the new hotspot for filmmakers among the most film friendly state in the country 
Uttar Pradesh has all the flavors to make a perfect film. Cultural attractions, heritage structures, scenic beauty and holy pilgrimage site. To augment the process, Uttar Pradesh government has introduced a comprehensive incentive-based film-friendly policy. Filmmakers can get subsidy up to 2.50 crore through single window system and online portal filmmaker can get online shooting permission and subsidy online. This has made the film production much easier in the state. With subsidy provision of 50% of the total cost of the regional and 25% for Hindi films along with many other films in Uttar Pradesh. Come and invest in the new Uttar Pradesh of the rising India. She is the most famous tiger in the world. Yet she won't give up. And now the Tiger Queen must battle one of her own. Her name is Muxley. Magnificent tigers full of courage and charm. Loved around the globe, she's drawn thousands of devoted fans to her birthplace, Rantambore National Park in India. A spectacular stretch of wilderness dotted with ancient relics from a forgotten past. More than a thousand years ago, warriors defended their territory from this fortress. Now, the crumbling walls belong to Machi, the unequaled queen of Rampenbo. Her face is part of her fame. A distinctive pork pattern on her cheek makes this legendary tigress easy to recognize. I barely left the edge of the park when I discover Muchly. She should still be at the fort, not here. Nearby, an injured blue bull waits for death, unbothered. The tigress doesn't have the strength or the teeth to finish off the kill. I thought Muchley would thrive when she reclaimed the fort. Instead, she couldn't hang on to it and it's only getting worse. Now, there's a new queen at the fort. Krishna, one of Machli's daughters from her fourth and final litter. Like her sister and the mum before her, she kicked out family to take control. And like her mother, she's a supreme huntress and knows how to make the most out of this territory. Cool air is rolling into Rantambor and bringing with it the monsoon fury. Every life will be in danger and not everyone will survive.
monsoon season arrives in Rajasthan with a vengeance. Predator and prey move uphill to wait out the flooding. Three relentless months of rain pound the scorched earth. And then it's over. I'm finally back in the park to look for my tree. If she's about the monsoon, this would be the twentieth year. I finally spot her, and my heart breaks. This is not the Machi I remember. She has already outlived most tigers in the wild, but I think she's starving to death. Between her milky eye and the ravages of the monsoon, she probably couldn't hunt much, if at all. Early the next morning, I'm drawn to a strange rasping sound coming from a clearing behind the grass. It's much me. She's dead there. Her tired ribs heave and collapse, giving in to the tug of death. A labor breathing tells me it's the end. We've been together for so many years. The bond I feel with this magnificent creature is staggering. is that my tree will not die alone. I am here for her. At 6.30 in the morning on the 18th of August 2016, my tree slipped away. Muchly died on a full moon day. 
locals believe that all those who die on this auspicious day make it to heaven. The Forest Department of India honored my friend with a traditional funeral pyre, befitting the national animal of India. Villages and government officials were there to pay tribute to the tigers who meant so much to so many. The future of tigers, now the closest to extinction of all big cats, rests on tigers like Muchley. It was indeed a beautiful film, sir. Can we have a huge round of applause for sir? Uh, we can now begin the interactive session with the audience. Sir, the floor is all yours. Yeah, this took seven years to complete this film. I started, I mean, it was then again six months of post-production. Meantime, I've released three, four films. This is my sixth film. So, I mean, basically I started following Machli. So after that, I was also doing parallelly some other tiger. So I produced six films. This is a self-funded film. Because it's very difficult to get commissioned projects from international channels. So I used to do wildlife uh, cinematography as a freelancer for National Geographic Discovery Animal Planet. So even though after working a lot of years, it's difficult to get commissioning from international channels. So one fine morning, I decided to invest my own money. So that's the journey started from 2007. First film was Tiger Queen. Second was Tiger Dynasty, which was BBC. Third was Tiger's Revenge. Then, then Clash of Tigers. Fourth was, let's say sixth was this. Last three years I'm following a, another character in Maharashtra. The character name is Maya. Because of Corona, lots of uh, discontinuity, but still I managed to get a great story. I'm still working on that. Might take another six months to, to post-production. So that took almost four years, which is completely shot in 4K, which, is, which will be there maybe next. I need to pitch it. So that's the way it is. It's basically, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer, or that I can 
we have, have a lot of other things I can offer. So, to us. yes. I've seen many documentaries like this. Yes. But the first time in my life, I could correlate with the story of a human. I, yeah. you know, that's the whole idea, it's, sir. It's so beautifully done. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks a lot, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yeah. This is it. And first of all, uh, congratulate to you have a good film. I think this is not a documentary it's like fiction. These are sad moment, happy moment, tragedy is there, emotion is there. Uh, I am enjoyed. Uh, thing is that, sir, uh, what are the hurdles you at the time of production time, at the shooting time? And second is, what are the quality uh, we need for a wildlife documentary? Because uh, this is not the uh, basic thing you have to be you have we have some special kind of uh, remark and uh, yeah. dedication to wildlife so international standard if you want to a broadcast quality in the international high end now 4k this was shot 50 percent hd and 4k mix of much least death was shot in 4k so basically you need a very high end 4k a lot of 4k's a lot of hd you need the proper this if technically speaking if you ask me this is a 16 bit 4K, which you call full 4K, it's even the mobile also nowadays 4K. No, it's a 4K. So that's one thing, it's just because that's what the standard. I mean, nowadays you've got very smaller cameras. I mean, but when I was filming, Maya was shot in a completely different camera, but this one was it's a little bigger size. Size by this, this is the high end 4K shot in Sony A55. Main thing is lenses. You need to have these longer lenses. I do have. All sort of a long focal length from 800 mm to 1200 mm. Anything, whatever you can see from naked eye, one can get it. The whole idea is to get this close perspective and tell a story in a very you know, emotional way. So that is one. You need a high end this thing. And apart from that, it's a very it's a lot. I don't encourage everyone to get into this. It's, a, it's, it's again, that's why I always call the wildlife filmmaking as not as a career, it's a commitment. It's just not, you can't just go into the park and get some footage and put together a lot of. It's very difficult to convince an international channel because when you start up, start filming, what about Machli? I mean, when you start any any tiger with a family, it's very difficult to pitch a story to any channel. The first thing they'll ask, what's a story? I never expect I'll get a shot of Machli's death. You cannot promise them I'll get a death, no. Even if I know that she's going to die. This is the first film we shot a tiger from prime to death. Lots of BBC and Animal Planet, if you see, they've shot lots. It's very, one way it's easy to start with tiger with cubs and they play and they fight and they separate and this. So I thought I'll take a risk of documenting a tiger from prime to death. That's one thing. And so you need a story. The difficult part is to get the story. Without the story, it's very difficult to get pitch it. Anyhow, it's, mine is a self-funded film. I always believe myself. I listen to myself. So take the camera, get follow. This one is different, but normal other films is two years. Average is spent monthly 20 days, 15 to 20 days a month. Apart from monsoon, because our monsoon are in our park, there is, they won't give permissions, because it's very difficult to get access. So average of 200 days, 220 days of filming. So you keep it four or five stories in mind and travel and travel and travel. After, after 30, 40 days, you, the story will change the direction. You drop the idea of that first track. Travel with three and again drop it and drop it and finally end up with one. You know that this is what the story. Then wait for that climax or whatever to happen. That's a difficult part to you know, get that. So difficulty is to get a story. Without story, there is no, no one is going to buy because you're investing your time, money. And in, a, in all the national park, if you want to do a professional way of filming, if you're going to be a commercial filmmaker, you need to take a permission, you need to pay money, which is average a 20 to 25,000 rupees a day. So that's a, I mean, nowadays you go with the smaller cameras, you pick up, you shoot. That's not the commercial way because you need to give a location clearance, you need to give a permissions, you need to have an animal welfare board clearance and all these things. For that, you need a permission. Otherwise, easy to go as like a tourist and get it. And smaller camera, first thing, they will not accept it. They accept few things. For example, Machli's fighting with crocodile, which is shot with some some VHS footage, which they accepted is because that's part of the, because that's very important to part of the story to tell the story. They'll accept it at 5% of it. 
low end hd or whatever the quality so idea is that you know that if you just imagine multiply 20000 into 200 days or some 150 days just bluntly which is you know following a story that's another thing financially you need a high end equipment it's very difficult to get these equipments on hire so you end up investing money on these lenses you know i mean in india i don't think it's hardly anyone has got this sort of international broadcast lenses so you invest i've got my own lenses so other part that is one thing in terms of monetary side then you can't you can't take an assistant the whole thing is completely shot with one single camera with myself there is no no assistant you can't have an assistant because and again if you if you want a second camera you will it'll end up doing a second unit you end up paying two camera fees and again if you follow a story like this in characters these multi camera things will never work because you are so attached to the story you know the shooting with a 600 mm lens so it's a single camera sing, character character driven story so it's single camera that's a challenge again and you are not allowed to get down from the vehicle the whole, whole thing is shot from the vehicle so you have a lot of limitations in terms of permissions and money and accessibility and you know all sort of a thing so luckily i got this death of machli which is which there was an access always there's no story we lost the whole just imagine without machli's death there's no story so that's a risk and challenge that you have to take that's you I, mean, i never expect that she'll die because i was told the tiger before death they just vanish get into the forest they vanish it but is some i won't call it lucky it's 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 a, it's a first first natural documentation of a natural death of a tiger and and that was celebrity tiger which is well from his tigers that way it is it's a good documentation uh, how you recognize machli in every shooting yeah, you can see that there is a mark is there and tiger is a territorial animal basically females have a 30 35 square kilometers i mean that is also 35 is also big but they 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 always will be in that territory so there is a tiger in that territory we'll say okay this is machli this is it so every tiger has got a pattern and you no know, a lot of different marks you know that if you if you if you're traveling with machli any uh, tigers maybe after 6 7 7 months you will also you can also easily identify so that's that's a basic thing star is a star mark that there's a character which i followed called lightning there's a lightning sort of a mark on the leg there is another character called arrow head she had a head arrow in the head so we just try to i mean apart from that mostly the names are given by the locals because there are something which we try to give it for the filming because lightning and arrow head the sister the dominant sister they fight each other for me it looks like you know action packed so we try to give those names with that big my permanent name but mostly these names are given by locals and where, wherever this tiger settles that or a village or wherever it is it become the name nice. um yeah. hi sir yeah. very good evening to you yeah. and thank you for blessing our evening with your film thank you uh now in your film you mentioned um that you had a very close bond with machli and even that moment when she emerges out of the woods and looks at you it's a very special moment so uh, can you talk a little more about your personal journey with machli and what made you keep coming back year after year to follow her story and um, yeah that's about it and if there were any uh, moments of serendipity uh, with between you and her see when you're following a character like uh, machli you know when you as a filmmaker i always look for stories you know this those moments we 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 added you know i never expected it. she she come and sit next to my vehicle i mean she's generally tourist friendly you know i mean she's full tiger but with me we always go wherever she is there she is sleeping we just park the vehicle we we'll also you know wait for her to get up and she wakes up and she you know suddenly if we are there and she won't bother so it's like that sort of a bond she always there know that someone is always there to you know that safe feel she always keep it most last lot of time when she was she had three cups i did a first film with machli these three cups when they were two months old so she sometimes she leaves the cubs and go and come back and hunt also so those sort of a this this sort of a confident which she gained but that's not the issue issue is to how do we it's easy it's easy, you know it's it's the whole idea to get the sequence and and try to connect the sequence and try to make a story that become a you know that's become a big big challenge that's what we always 
no otherwise we will try my level best to connect with humans that's why audience also connect with the character so that's why i, st- I even when, when the writing it there's one sent one one word which say she's not dying alone i'm there for her so these all you no know, adding value to you no know, representing humans you know on behalf of this humans and just as a single as a person who is following i'm just adding it so yeah, that's the way it is otherwise yes lot of personal bond which always if you follow it over 7 years you do have it but which i didn't i didn't put most of the stuff in this i just you no know, uh, kept only the sequence which you no know, tell a story that way there are lots which is which is not one because we do i mean this is uh, much less uh, whole film to footage or something around 250 hours of footage you just imagine 250 hours of footage we just you know a lot of sequences which you couldn't uh, add in that because as everyone was telling me to do a series of three for three part four part i thought let me stick to one there are some moments but again i don't like to uh, do a doc- talking head you know i don't like any interview based program i always wanted to a visual driven because i'm a cameraman i always believe in visuals so that's one reason i've not added most of my personal thing but there are a lot which is yes maybe i don't know i'm not good at writing also but i will one day uh, sir here first of all thank you very much for the show now uh, you already mentioned that you shot with one camera yeah but uh, i see that uh, i see the fighting between machli and sundri and the next shot was sundri's pride the close up on her face that i won you know that yeah. was quite close up yeah i thought that time that uh, you might have shot on multiple cameras no no okay. completely single cameras that's that's a, that's the beauty of uh, a cinematographer doing a selling a story Right. no it's uh, that's a, that's that's one maybe i don't want to say i'm good at it but because for me i mean i for me sequence is important that's why you know even the um, sundri and uh, uh, sundri and krishna fighting i'll show it the right question i do have a how i make it a two camera three camera sort of and when and after uh, discussion let, i can show you let me ask second question yeah. so probably you can show that as well mm. So second question is that you also got the footage of perfect samba deer's call hmm. when they call they actually stamp their feet Yeah honestly yeah. speaking 90% of wild this soundtrack is post production 10% we just take this wild track and it's very difficult to sound record the sound at that time and and, do, and shoot because when when something happens the the vehicle we give command to the driver and it's it's like a war no left right go turn left no it's 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 not it's very difficult and tripod and and gullies and everything happens it's like you no know, you need to get the sequence so we hardly we hardly record sounds mm-hmm. do wild track and then after that post post production do it. but these sounds are there there are some experts that they just specialized in big cats and they're very good at and they, this is this is edited in uh, much is editing in washington dc there are some people who i do off what i do is i do the complete offline work here and go to post production and abroad mm-hmm. if it is a bbc i go to bristol and edit mm-hmm. if it is for national geographic i go to washington dc and edit hire a edit uh, editor there and do it they have all the libraries so sound side if you see it's it's they work for at least some 4 or 5 weeks only for the ambience all right yeah that's why it was so perfect thank you sir i would yeah. like to see that i can show that thank this, you uh, with this uh, filming wildlife one second single camera the third one please i'll show you that fight sequence of uh, sundri and krishna yeah just the light off please just play that pause i'll show the rush the raw footage and the edited version also yeah uh, play the uh, play the uh, yeah picture 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 Oh wait, third. Play, 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 play. This is the footage unedited.
she will have to deal with her family one by one, starting with the weakest. Unis, the most timid, is relaxing in the heat of the day. Sartre has her in her sights. She's an easy target. As cubs, the sisters probably stalked each other in play fights, so Unis has no sense of danger. Lulled into a false sense of security, Unis plays along. Sartre's made her intentions very clear. Yeah, so that's the way it works. You keep you know, looking at it from other eye. It's Krishna that, I mean, Krishna is the sister. I mean, her name is, we call it 17 and 18. She got the most of the shots when she was sleeping, you know, before the fight. So we started putting that insert when the fight was happening. So actually, this is the way it works. You have to be in the right place, right angle. You know this is what's going to happen. That we followed the tiger, we know they are going to fight. So, like this, most of whatever the sequence you see, I've got. I can show the n number of sequences, all completely shot with single cameras. You build up the sequence. It's very easy to keep these two tigers in one frame. You can't build a sequence, you know. So that's that's the plus point of if you're a cameraman, if you're doing a wildlife, you know. You need to build a sequence, you know what sort of shots you need for edit. Then you put together, add music, yes. End of the end, later we just, sometimes we digitize, a digital zoom, we do it, sometimes, no? And get it, to, if you want to get a pacier sequence. Otherwise, it's, a, it's all shot with single camera. Yeah. There is sound, a lot of sound, but not this natural sound. Yeah. We do take wild track, you know. Mm -hmm. We can't afford in sense we can't take a sound recorders always. So when sometimes we just go just for a sound recording the schedule, record the basic sound and we just give a reference sound to this sound editor. And they have got everything, you know, and some follies they do it. But uh, there are people say it but I don't I don't do it because you can't have a one additional person and record and our whole idea is to story, not even shots. No, not even, our whole idea is sequence, story. These technical things can be handled very easily later. No? I, that too, nowadays, you can do wonders. Yeah. When I mentioned about the Samba deer, mm -hmm. Samba deer has amazing sense of smell because their eyesight uh, is quite weak, right? Am yeah. I right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can disguise your physical body, but how can you disguise the human fragrance, the scent of our sweat and all, to shot that perfect call? See, the thing is, again, they know it's all shot with very long focus, but this particular fight is just happening next to me. Come on. Otherwise, uh, not all these things are just, it's all sometimes 200 feet away, sometimes long. So we all lensing, it's all powerful lens. They're very far away. Very few sequences we get to 
we are not allowed to go closer after a point. So that's why that's that's the whole idea of using long lenses. In 800 mm, 1000 mm, sometimes use doublers, which goes 2000 mm, 1000. I mean, you you get that. And the problem with shooting with single camera and these long lenses with this Jeep is you can't hold the shot you know, more than four seconds or five seconds. Mm -hmm. That one way it works to keep, you know, make a pacier film. Some places, wherever possible, hold it. You can you can still see the little wobble, you know? mm -hmm. little. Mm -hmm. This again HD, you can see wobble. Nowadays you got this f55 and I use f55. I mean, it's more or less equivalent to red or whatever this thing. Uh, we use we com the whole Maya, the film which I am shooting, which is completely shot to 60 frames. Okay. We shoot to slow motion so that you can avoid this wobble a little bit. Mm -hmm. And apart from wobble, we are used to that. And again, the whole thing is you, as a cinematographer, you, you focus, you, you exposure, everything is one man. It's mostly muscle memory. Mm -hmm. That's it. Where you, the last 20, 25, 30 years, you keep shooting. So, end of the day, you know this, everything like a piano, it just... It works like the laptop computer. The way it works, we know where the focus, what one step it comes again. It just it's all feet. Everything is calculated. It, it, it works automatically. That too, we're waiting for a sequence for years and months. If some important sequence happening, those things automatically happens. I don't know how it works. You get it because you don't even you don't even feel there's a camera. We are operating it. It becomes a tool. It's just whole idea is to. Make sure you get the sequence. So that's the way it is because for you, story, your time, and money you're spending, and, mm. and it's, you, you sometimes are getting something which next to you. Mm. It's very maybe an important sequence. The one shot which is mixing, mixing was just you know, that this this one close up, which we try to put it from some other sequence, but the same tiger. We're very true to the tiger. We can't cheat from some other tiger, but these are very famous tigers. Yes. You can't, yeah. the stories are very true. You, yeah. know, you can't tell some other stories. These stories are true stories. Yes, yes. Sir. So lots of lucky montages, right? Pardon? Lots of lucky montages you got. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So again, it's a very religiously you go and follow it. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. It's a massive one. Actually, it's a two to three crores film, sir. But in that case, uh, how do you recover your money? Yeah, if there's no story, you don't recover. That's it. Very simple. I mean, we try. No, That's the reason. No, we. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's very. I'm very curious about yeah, this I know. because honestly speaking, it's 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 a gamble. It's a gamble. No, it somehow it worked. It is working, but this Maya story, I'm still struggling to sell it because of various reasons. Not because we got very good story. But still, a lot of other reasons are not able to push it because things have changed. OTT has come. No, those problems are there. Now everyone wants to see fiction because there are people are ready to give fiction free of cost. So, so there are other issues. Otherwise, if there's a story, obviously you can sell it. But it's a risk. Sometimes you may not get a big profit. That's the reason I'm I'm alone, single person. I own my camera. I go. If you if you put actually a professional cast of my own work, then it's a loss. What about this particular film? I mean, some, well, some, 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 most of the film I managed to get the first uh, money back. Muchly worked it. Then Tiger uh, Revenge didn't work. Tiger Dynasty, it was. I didn't expect that it's going to work. That I made, it was very. It's, it's very good because the story was great. It's like that, no. There's no guarantee. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Continuing on the same uh, line as uh, the gentleman asked yeah. you, uh, my contention is that I have students who are looking forward to making wildlife a career. Yes. In fact, I already have two of them who for the last three years are already deeply into it. One of them spending months at a go in Borivili National Park shooting, you know, whatever they are given. Mm. So they are actually looking at making it a career. And uh, just a while ago, you said that uh, this is not a career, this is a commitment. And also, just now you said that uh, sometime you end up making losses. Yeah. So, I would especially want you to make a comment on these, uh, to these youngsters who are actually looking forward to making it into a career because they do feel that at some stage or the other, you know, they will be able to make it. 
and when i say make it what i mean is they'll be able to make it big but from your words what i am gathering is that it is never big really no, so i would like you to comment please. it's it's a long journey the rank student what's happening is now everyone has got a camera everyone wants to go and shoot and they want to make money in 6 months no it's not possible at all but when they say career they are absolutely aware that it's a matter of several years yeah. that's that, what we tell them that case yes that case yes it's a very very long process i started as an operative second unit cameraman when the foreigners used to come i used to always i used to help them i was shooting a second unit cameraman then they used to shoot for 21 days and 30 days and they go when they edit they'll say they'll feel something is missing they'll ask me to shoot and send it then they ask me to shoot a sequence and send it i became a you know, segment cameraman they became a segment director then the episode director then you no know, it's like that then this then then finally even after that also your name will be somewhere in the you no know, the last you don't even know even if you see the planet earth or whatever it is there will be lot of names will be there in the indian cameraman this all the second camera unit you may not be able to see it then that's the reason i just picked up the camera and my i sold lot of things and started doing some on, on my own which i don't advise for anyone so what i'm telling is there are there are lot of lot of people who followed the same way also doing camera work nowadays they are also working as an operative cameraman second, second unit cameraman they making very good money that's not the thing that way it works but what happens is now after this dslr thing everything is auto we just get some sequence today i think someone sent me a today yesterday there is a brilliant footage of a tiger eating a leopard in ranthambore is the first time we we got it on camera but what i'm telling is a brilliant shot but i don't think you can sell it you can put it on facebook maybe some 2000 people say wow 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 but there is no story yes it's the first naturalistic moment they got it on camera but where is the story maybe some 30 40 people must have got the same thing that's the problem with now so see what happens is that something happens in the park where some 20 people are shooting the same thing but other thing is storytelling i also learned the storytelling after 10 15 years of slogging and oh this is what the story is all about so cameraman that's a difficulty so the thing is they have to go through the process of proper filmmaking storytelling and the commitment and if they are able to pitch it get it then there is a possibility but that's why i said we need to have a commitment after that yes you can make money so sorry i'm interrupting you uh, i myself i am a dop yeah with about 35 years of experience having worked as a dop and uh, well now for the last 10 years i've gotten into teaching okay and as i said there are couple of my students who are dedicated to this hmm. but then the closest that i am interacting with somebody who is a cinematographer and now a producer director to ask this question very blatantly you know no problem. because because unless i get an answer from you as in terms of an advice i don't know how many of uh, this younger generation students over here or makers want to make it into a career and i want you to answer to them address to them really i completely agree see that's the reason if you while the producers in our country maybe two or three i don't think not even two yeah maybe i'm producing it maybe someone else but i think what i know is very few the reason yeah, is that is the reason that clearly says the reason behind why there's a very few independent producers from our country first is no one is going to commission neither in our country nor from a government nor from outside period even after 10 years even if i pitch it i'm still pitching it after working 3 years that's a problem forget about documentary even for wildlife also no so what is the only op- only option is to you have to if you have to believe yourself yes you can make a greater story there are some i think five apart from three producers there are some five to six cinema cameramen some have become wildlife cinematographer they started from still photography mostly most of the people from bangalore there are some bombay also started cinema still photographer cinematographer sequence cameraman now they are also doing lot of second camera third camera unit for project like netflix project like planet earth but they are but for them it almost it took 5 to 6 years for them to do that but they they making very good money they got the one camera they got one crore worth of equipment but purely by doing this but again a commitment again they followed it they learned it i mean they they slogged it but this is not like as a dop i also worked in fiction 
you go work for two films with a big cameraman and, and after that with the reference i worked with so and so so and so and get a camera and you become a cinematographer no because there you were an operator you got five people to assist you just turn someone will be having a lime juice here no there's no food nothing so the whole thing is you focus and you, i i lift my tripod i lift my camera you know the everything is single that's that physically i i mean i, I just, that's a part of the work so that's sort of a commitment one needs to have it but that is not there today's youngsters not everyone they just yep. because of the so called auto mode absolutely which is spoiled it they think because of so called color correction which is easier they think it's easier just put it in a you know whatever the insta and then people say wow 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 they no it's not you can't telling you, i'm just saying two days or today i think I forgot a tiger eating a leopard i'm telling you it is an outstanding sequence is last 35 years i never heard that guy can maximum get get some 5000 likes that's it it starts and ends or even or more than that maybe so i'm telling so you need a story or maybe they can do a small small great stories nowadays online they want 5 minutes 6 minute or 3 minute or they can start doing that and tell a story not get into this big time of following one character for 6 years and 7 years but that's the way they have to start and they have to get into it other option is to if they want to survive they can also good uh, do good professional way of do uh, uh, filming wildlife and sell stock footage it's a good market for wildlife not for other species particularly indian species that's another thing again it needs it needs to have a proper training and they need to it's 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 a three times of more than whatever three time they should spend to get into that so called cinematographic mode it's not just operative job absolutely absolutely yeah. if they if, if they if they believe in it so you know that you might yeah. i don't know yeah. whether you from film institute or not it needs i'm from basic, fti yeah, pune yeah you need the basic foundation i'm not telling you you need to go to an fti you need to have that basic absolutely. foundation of storytelling learning understanding and give respect to the so called cinematography which is got a focus you got exposure it's see everyone has got the same camera how come i mean we we, we are i mean everyone is exposing differently giving output differently why because there is always a different eye to see it so that is the first thing which they have to understand which is very, i i tried my level best to explain it to them but somehow they want it kal mera program kab national geography mein aayega nahi aayega Uh, not all but yeah there are exceptions and as i said two of my students they are absolutely very dedicated good, good, and right? trained mm. and they are also doing one man job because that's how it is it's to be done it's a multitasking one man job i mean see this is a expensive nowadays what sony a x7 and 9 and all is very compact and netflix yep. and everyone is accepting it if you can pick up and now this day, everyone wants good content and you no know, great stories there is a great demand for it but and it's it's little expensive for example see i'm i'm professionally doing it nowadays i don't think uh, small cameras they don't charge for it mm-hmm. and if you this when i was shooting there was no gimbal even i can't put my f55 in a gimbal sony x9 you can put it in a gimbal and you can shoot you don't need a tripod yeah. you, you don't need a no you can shoot lot i mean you can also think of so many stories without going to the forest a lot of stuff a lot of animals which is outside the park yeah. and that's what the, that's what everyone wants to know you go to chandrapur no that tigers are moving around in the road in gear lions are outside and that's what a human conflict story looking for one can do that yeah. which is not which is cheaper but again you need a story it's not that no even if you get a great kill shot of a tiger there's no bias they'll say yeah fantastic now tell me the story you know yeah. that's one thing is thank you so I much you and i hope it opens up eyes of couple yeah. of youngsters here thank you so yes. much mine only i do okay so do you think uh, having a known face or celebrity will increase the chances of celebrity of this kind of content no, like it, to it, make the experience more subjective and like people can more connect it might you may if you have a great story and an access if you have got a celebrity in hand they you they may commission you and more viewership But recently, I saw Barack Obama. Is oh, he was anchoring a great show. It didn't work. So again, uh, is, I mean, Iron Bro works, but celebrity also. I don't think all the celebrity works in naturalistry. Naturalistry hardly you see any any actors or any Hollywood guys coming. No, you can't. 
but I mean, yeah, it's easy to sell it, easy to get commissioned. And yeah, they tried it with Amitabh Bachchan voice with some this thing. Maybe a march of penguin. penguin that worked because of this. And I don't think after that, hardly anyone. I don't know why we need to see that. There might be a re reason behind it. And and not, hardly any people are willing to do that, endorse it. They always talk about save the tiger and everything, and never come on board and never work for it. I'm, I have a feature concept. I'm thinking of doing the same fight for a tiger film, a feature length, proper fiction. I'm looking for an artist. I don't think anyone will be happy to come and work, not free of cost, at least in a reasonable way, no. They just talk about it, yes, they wanted to save the tiger, they wanted to save the globe, planet and everything. The minute you go there, it never works. I'm telling you, that's honestly, that's the situation. So, you, I believe in my story. I don't believe in the celebrity thing. I believe in fiction, I need, a cel I need an actor, so I have to go. What's come was nothing works, I may end up going with a new actor and do it. That's another way to working out, but we believe the story. Yeah. Uh, is there any specific reason you are focused in Tiger? Every film it is a difficult subject to cut to film, get a, you know, again to, and it's, what, it's only in our country, mainly. And in Africa, all the other big cats are there, and a lot of films on uh, other big cats. If I'm in Africa, I, I can do a daily soap. But here, I, that's where very, any f very few foreigners come here and shoot. It's not that easy. That's where most of the tiger films are shot from, from very few international productions. Because other places, you go for 30 days, 40 days, you get something, one hour something. Or you spend like planet Earth and green planet, 500 people and lots of big crews and channels put a lot of money. That's another way of filming it. So, uh, and third reason is, since I'm investing my own money, Tiger sells. So that's also one honest reason that I, I film Tigers, because at the end of the day, I have to recover my money. And that doesn't mean that other things are, won't sell. Yes, uh, I also did other films apart from Tigers. No one knows about it. Even though it's got three, four national awards and international award, everyone knows only about these Tiger films. So that's Tiger sells, it's charismatic animal. That's that's another reason. So basically, it's a challenge and safe. It's a safer difficulty. It's one in our country. There's no competition. One way, very few people come and take this, get into this madness of following one character for two years and seven years. Yeah. Again, story, whatever it is, images, whether it's underwater or even if you allow me to go to any places, even the access is, access I'm telling is a difficulty. If I, access, even if I get access with whatever it is, if there is no meat, there's no buyers. Underwater, the same. It's all, all, all the same difficulty. You need an expert and you need to go there. And someone recently did a film called Octopus. I don't know whether you've seen it or not. It's got an Oscar award. Again, she followed the same way the way I followed for seven years. He followed that uh, October for seven years. It worked, but it's also an emotional story. So, end of the day, because of the story and this personal connection, he just managed to do it. Yeah, all the same. It's see, if you, if you go to park, tiger maximum, they'll do five or six things. They walk, they just fight, they drag, they, they kill, sleep, mate. That's all they do. But you need to get a story from that. Hmm. No, you can. You see this Oscar guy. He just followed October. Outstanding. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Very emotional story. It's called My Team Marks October's My Teacher. It's in it's in Netflix. Outstanding story. You every any species you can make a story. I can I do have a lot of other species. Stories are everywhere. You need to identify it and follow it and make sure you get it. Yes. I do have something to show also. I mean. So other, yes, sir. <laughs> other, other national award winning films, the subjects, what's all? All mostly tigers. Huh? And uh, one is, it's called, uh, I did one on Western Guards for Discovery Channel. It's called Life Force 2. We shot bizarre looking species like hornbill, 
purple frog, slender lorries, look bizarre. And elephant, and it's all bizarre looking species put together and made a, they made a, see it's a six part species in the six continent. I, I, I did that India one, which is also for discovery. It's called two national awards and lots of international award because as a tiger just, just only 10 minutes. So that's a brilliant fellow. You should watch it. It's not an OTT. Thank you, sir. I can send you the link if you want. Yeah. Yeah. No, basically my question is, uh, you know, you keep mentioning that story is important, story is important. Now, in, the, in a film like this, the story largely comes through the voiceover narrative, you know. No, yeah, same time you are also showing it. Yeah, yeah, at the same time, yeah, but the voiceover narrative is the story, mainly that's the script for you. And you mentioned that you had a few four, four or five narratives in your mind before you started this film on this much. Four that's story right. lines. See, if the yeah. mother with cups, we'll, we'll keep four lines. Yeah, sakta, wo wo sakta, this can happen, that can happen. Yeah, how that is your collaboration with the writer and or no, you write one, on your own? What I do is I just put together the, see, from 300 hours to we'll make it to 20 hours and make it three hours of final storyline, three hours. Then we keep an option for two hours and one, one I mean, one, two, three hours offline story. We cut it, we go and pitch it. I'll show you how I pitch it. Then once a uh, 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 channel is on board, the EP comes, then they say, oh, this is our channel. For example, BBC is full of naturalistry. They don't want to go beyond. For example, there's a mating scene. Then, for example, I'm just telling how the channel differs. Mating scene, national geography is purely for families, okay? Discovery is for youth, mainly. So if the mating scene is behind the bush, Discovery will say, no, we want, is that, do we have any sort of tigers mating openly? Because our, 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 our audience are young and youth and they want to kill and drag, the whole, they want that pacey, so, and if it is, if you go to National Geography, they are they're family thing. The same thing, if you go to BBC, they say, no, you can't show a mating because we can't get into the privacy. So, you've got three different things. We don't, I don't know who I'm going to sell it. You have to keep all these three and shoot that there's a mating thing. Because we, I don't know how the story is going to end. It may be a completely action-packed, wild, like uh, my one film is called uh, you know, Clash of Tigers. It's full of fight between brothers and sisters and blood and this and that. Because it's, I never expected that when it started, it was a brilliant shot of a mother with four cups. Then it became a wilder one. So it, it ends up, that's what I'm telling. You start with something, you end up the whole thing in a different way. So, for example, in terms of, so you put together a story, then you write according the, according to that channel. Then you edit, re-edit, rework this pace and the tone of the whole story in that. The same story can be molded in a very, very, very softer way, like Machli. So the same thing can be also make it in a very faster and pacey. We do have short of Machli, just, I mean, this Tiger Dynasty and all, kill with blood splitting and stuff. Here we hardly use it, that wild boar thing. I got outstanding close ups. But you can't use it because the whole channel is different. So we, the whole tone, we tone it down. Then we, and the story structure is done. It's a character based story. You cannot write anything, you cannot imagine and write. This is the actual story of Machli. We put together pointers and everything. I'm not a good writer. I'm a good storyteller visually. Packed at one hour, one hour, one hour, 20 minutes. With 10 to 15 minutes, we keep it to drumming. As a scriptwriter to write the story according to the sequence, according to the flow of the story, they have, they cannot afford to go change the story at all. Editorially, yes. The channel can come and say, this won't work, this work, that works. Yes. End of the day, they are the co-producers, they are the broadcasters. They know. So it works and finally it goes to the script doctor. She just without seeing is she only the paperwork. Just do a little bit of that. That's it. But what I'm telling is the main thing is you've got the story on visual. It's this not an anchor ring, anchor, anchor base, a presenter base who can come on camera saying that yes, I heard you no know, this. You know, you can talk anything. Here we are showing it. So you have to be so, you, you need that stuff. Otherwise, in a 300 hours, the people say, Allah, you've you got so much footage, you can make 10 part series. No. With this 200 hours of footage, I can't even make any other story. You're finished with the character. Yeah, you can make some other story of some other sequence to talk something about personal, the way she was asking. That's not the story. I, I never did it. All my films, I never used it. I'm thinking of doing a tiger diary of tiger from birth to death. Which is completely different, different thing about different tigers and different cops and different behaviors. But that's not a character-based story. So 
that way it works. Sometimes outstanding sequence you may fit into the same track, we just throw it because you have a time limitation of 60 minutes and National Geography is 48 minutes. Can I show something? Yeah, just yeah, some more time, yeah. I'll show you what I'm working on now. We have got another 15 minutes. <coughs> Anyone seen this in other species or? Uh, uh, just put the first one, introduction promo. See, I, I'm, I'm following this many characters. I put one or two clips of every character. I just, I don't know how everyone say, everyone says, how do you identify a character? So there are some seven, eight characters, individual characters called individual identity. You can see that. This slide off, please. <laughs> story. I mean, I just want to make a three-part series. I put everything in two minutes. I said three, th this many characters. This is a story. Maybe five minutes each story or each character or maybe ten minutes. That depends on that. So this way we pitch it. So, I mean, wildlife, you need a footage to pitch it. It's, it's, you can't write it on a paper, say that, no, this is going to happen. So that's, this is one way we pitch the series. I'm pitching it. I may end up doing a six-part series now. So, Again, we'll add late, we'll go back and do redo, rework, and you know, maybe we extend a little bit. That's one. I'll also show another pitch which I'm working on, the Maya thing. 
Can you go to the nine? Nine, nine, yeah. This is an ongoing project. Uh, yeah, Cecil, yeah. We've got another five minutes, so I'll show something. <laughs>
That also shot at one single camera, because again, if you get the right moment to you can manage to get a longer one. So th the story is about how his mother is struggling you know, against all the, against all odds to bring up those cups. So this is a broader issue now all over India. So that's a pitch. I'm pitching it. I'm also parallelly working on a fiction. Do we have a time to show up? Two minutes, sir? Yeah, just a fiction. It's not a fiction. I'm just telling a story. This next one. Yeah.
just still trying to work out a fiction story, you know, basically. You know, putting together all these issues in our country, try to make it, try to make a story with these tiger characters. So that's the uh, end. I think we don't have a time more. Any, any quick question, anyone? It's, it's a long story, yes. <laughs> New park, they wanted to develop it. So obviously you need to ship it so that a lot of lot of things happens in our country. Mining, Tiger is surrounded with mining mafia, tourism mafia, political mafia, bureaucratic mafia, and poaching mafia. The middle, of the tiger is surviving it. So this is one ac one aspect of that. So we might end up putting all the aspect and how she is struggling to bring this up. Still working on it. There's an another approach of. I mean, there's too many. I just want to get out of this naturalist thing, try to tell more commercial so that it can reach more mass. Ideas to reach the more masses. Because National Geography and Discovery, all the other channels, they are into big series and big presenters and big time things. Slowly, this one off series is they're not very much interested. They're moving towards the so called fiction. So we're trying to work out a new format. I have no idea if it's going to work or not, but I strongly believe this should work. Once you make money and do quality stuff parallelly, that's the idea. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you for being a lovely audience. And Nala Mothu, sir, thank you for being so gracious while conducting the session. It was indeed fruitful. I have an announcement for uh, the invitees. The films which are in competition, the invitees, and uh, for the packages and masterclasses B2B, May please collect rupees 500 per day of film attendance from the finance unit on the ground floor of phase one building of films division. Thank you.